Alright, hello everyone, Styles RJ here, it's time to tip the scales of another game of Command & Conquer Red Alert 3 Uprising. Now, the video you're about to see is going to be done in post-commentary, okay? I've done these two levels a bit too often, you know, um, these two levels. Gosh darn Mongolians and, um, Fear the Reaper, whatever it was, the, um, yeah, read what you sow. So, I'm going to be doing these two levels in post-commentary because these levels have been frustrating me for a while. And I use Red Alerts all the time in all these, all on camera. So, I'm going to try this one out as the Allies. Okay, I gotta face Vera with her Reapers. That's what I do with a start off. It's just you and me this time, so don't worry. When you lose, I won't tell anyone. Yeah, and when you lose, I won't tell anyone either, because I have no one else really to tell. Yeah, these two levels I have not been able to, able to do on camera ever since I did it once. Okay, it's just been, it's been very, very frustrating to do so. So I'm gonna solve the problem once and for all, I'm playing in post commentary. So as you can see here, I'm doing my base I normally do. Now, I'm building an engineer early because the enemies like to take the oil direct down south. And also, I'm building up defense turrets. These are very, very important. You must have defense turrets. Don't build tanks, okay? Tanks will get ruined. Alright? My main strategy for this level is um, I build the uh, war, I build war factories. I build a war factory. Heights my clearance. I build a defense bureau and get the pacifiers out there. I don't meet part time in this one, but I sure as hell hold my own. Alright, so I put turrets on both ends of the base because why not? I can't. I think I pause construction of an ore refinery and build another power plant to realize these Patriots are going to take a lot of power. Yes, I know they're called multi gunner turrets, but I call them Patriots because that's how they were. That's what they were called in Command Red Alert 2 and Generals. You can't really kick that habit. Oh, I'm building a second prospect as well because I want to take the ore field down south. Now, I'm building these turrets very close together. It's probably a bad idea, but considering what's going on. Might as well just do it. Alright. So I got this prospector. So I got my prospector. Oh. And at this point, my mouse decides to go. Decides to go whack a ding hoy. And for the love of Manus, come on, mouse, do something. Ah. So, you know, constantly hitting, this, hitting the mouse against the pad, adjusting the cables, because I think the mic. I think my headset cable got in the way. Because, you know, the way I position it. And then I test the mouse even further, and then it's all done. All finished. So I move my prospector back out there. I didn't think of that. Yep. Then I build my airbase and then I realize, oh wait, no, I maybe I shouldn't build the airbase that early. It's at this point I just re I realized the um and we put some conscripts down at the oil derrick, so I thought, oh I bet oh crap, they're gonna capture it. Enemy engineer. Yeah, you can hear that. Enemy engineer detected, I thought, oh crap, they're gonna capture it. Cancelled. I realized, oh yeah, I need an armor facility, I need to build pacifiers. Right, so the engineer's coming in. Training. And I'm like, oh no. Better do something about that. What if, what if I put a turret here? Complete. And surprisingly enough, it actually works! It bloody well works! <laughs> I mean, fancy that. The turret actually defends. So yeah. I'm just, you know, building up structures now. Keep building structures. Alright, and... Okay, the armor facility should be done about now-ish. Then at this point I go, alright, now I need another refinery. And then I realize, oh crap, now I've got this engineer, don't know how to use for him. Uh, what do I do with him? And check the power requirements, and I'm like, oh yeah, oh crap, here come the Reapers. Here come the Reapers, uh, turrets, 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 come on turrets! And the Reapers are actually surprisingly holding back, they're like, oh no no no, they got turrets there, we're gonna hold back a bit, because we're Reapers, comrade. Construction complete. You have to build that. Then, then I'm like, mm, should I heighten the clearance? Should I up the alert level? Building. No, or refinery. Yeah. Repairing insufficient <laughs> funds. Nope. So I'm still building turrets because turrets, 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 turrets. Turrets are important. Then I realize, oh yeah, high I have toxic protocols. Authorized. Let's go with high technology because I have nothing really else to use. Seriously, there's nothing really else to use with high technology upgrades. <laughs> hospital captured. Construction complete. Yeah, I have no idea what to do with that hospital. Funds. So they're still building stuff, and here comes their Reaper. Is under attack. Repairing. And it got reaped. It got reaped hard. Yeah. The problem with building Reapers is that the, um... The problem with Reapers is that they, um, are kind of tough. But they... Their special ability is they can jump and turn into a turret themselves. Insufficient funds. And if they happen to lay on top of a tank, that tank is destroyed. So that's why I'm not building tanks, because... They're just gonna get crushed. And I'm, okay, at that point I'm like, oh, um, 
Is that Reaper going to attack me? No, it's not going to attack Upgrade me. It's just going complete. to. New construction it's just going to do that. It's going to wander around, then get hit by the turrets. And I'm like, okay, now I need to get a defense bureau. Let's get the pacifier built. Yeah, okay, check the part time. I always do that. Just check the time, see how it's going. And around here, like, oh crap, more Reapers. No, 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 I've only got like three turrets there. Building. Don't do anything about it. Please don't do anything about Building. it. Please don't attack me. Enemy engineer nope. detected. They're holding back, Training. and I thought, well, I can up these turrets. Maybe I'll put a javelin in each, in, in some of these turrets. I can up their firepower. Right right, Trust on. me, it doesn't work. But complete. Training. Doing, I'm doing a lot more better than I did before. New construction options. So at that point, I'm like, all right, going to build a defense bureau. Right and I think I realized how much, how much the actual power it would take up, and I'm like, maybe I shouldn't. Repairing. Well, actually, no. I'm trying to hold up the line. Trying to put as many turrets as they can up there before the conscripts come in. Yep. And that's around this point, I'm like, okay. Got a whole bunch of stuff all set up, got my economy working. Building. Is the economy working? Ah, I better put another prospector and head up north. I wanna secure the um I wanna secure those um ore fields up north. Alright, so I'm just sitting here, waiting for the end to approach. Okay, the Defense Bureau is nearly done. Now this is, this is, where, the, this is where I tip the scales. This is where I truly tip the scales. Because as you can see here, I'm like, alright, got the structure built. Time for the pacifiers. Pacifiers are awesome, by the way. Right around this point, okay, I'm trying to not build the defense turret right now because I don't have any power. <laughs> I don't want my turrets going down at the wrong moment. It's tense. Very, very tense. It's why it's post-commentary because... Like, oh, here we go. I think it was at this point, I'm like, oh crap, they're gonna, they're gonna try and test my flanks. Why don't we have a look? Nope, you're not testing my flanks. I'll stop you from doing that. You know, your prospect is ready. My mouse started, yeah, my mouse started lagging again. But it was a minor kind of lag. And I'm like, all right, uh, chrono swap because what? I, why else? Uh, yeah, yeah, adjusting the mouse a bit. All right, here we go. This thing will truly tip the scales. A pacifier, field artillery vehicle. I ignore those guys, I mean, they're destroying my oil, Derek. That's a lost cause. And I'm like, mm, what if I hit that oil or, or refinery? Repairing. Construction it works for a little bit. Yeah, I do a stupid thing and build a turret down there, and then I realize, oh crap, they're attacking up here! They're attacking up here! Oh no, 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 you're gonna destroy my turret! No! Don't destroy my turret! And then the field artillery vehicle saves the day! Look at that! Seriously, look at that! The other artillery no oh, oh no, my turret's gonna get destroyed! Oh no no no, quick deploy, deploy, deploy! 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 Seriously, these things saved my life. Look at that. Just look at that! The Reapers run! They're like, oh crap! We can't we can't We can't repel far how this magnitude! I can't slow construction because <laughs> those turrets are gone! Those multi-gunner turrets are gone. It's time for an upgrade. Okay, it's time to switch out from the wooden sword to a, to a stone. It's time to switch out from a wooden pickaxe to a stone pickaxe. Seriously, look at that. Look, look, the Reapers are like, holy crap, we're getting out of here. We're getting out of here. Those things are tough. Oh, Terra Drone, like, Prospect Drone, like, yep, lost cause. Might as well just build a new one. Yeah. Apparently, have Terra Drone surprise. Oh, <laughs> he got reaped. And at this point, you have the Spectrum Towers. I unlocked them in the, in the, ally, the Allied tanks. Oh, okay. There's a button up north. As I'm watching the minimap now. And I finally finish, off, finish the job. And then, of course, they decide... They decide they're going to hit my economy. They hit my economy. Yeah, cancel production of the prospect because that can hit Terra Drone. Oh, no. You can hit my economy? Yeah, I says. I'm going to hit your economy. And I'm like, no, you're not hitting my economy. You are the economy! I am the state! So I'm like, yeah, you're not doing that. I'll fight you. I will fight you! And I keep hitting with the... Uh, seriously. The pa and then uh, here's the part where it's like... Yeah. Uh, and I'm like, what the hell was that all about? Why was the... <laughs> why did that drone go all the way from my back? Go all the way there just to get destroyed by my prison tower? <laughs> what the hell? Goes all the way out there, get the strip of my prism tower. So I set up my, so I set up the economy smashers. That's what I'm gonna call them. Those FAVs. The economy smashers. This, this level is pretty much designed for the field artillery vehicle. Okay, it is designed for it. 
okay? Bases are too close together. So if you put an artillery in your base, the enemy can't do anything about it. Except, you know, put artillery at their own, but they're not going to, because this gimmick, the gimmick of this level is the Reaper. And I around this point, I'm like, alright, they're repairing their units too long. Check the part time again. They're repairing their units for too long. We're smashing that thing. We're gonna smash it to pieces. Yeah, smashy, smashy. Alright. And then they hit the ore collector, but you know how projectiles are slow. So I'm like, fire ahead of them, you dolts. That works. Alright, uh, what else to comment about? Well, more stuff is happening. Building another refinery, finally, because I realize I have the power for it. Spectrum Tower do what they do best. A um, prison tower gathers energy from one tower and shoots it through the other for twice the damage, I think. Yeah, not for twice the damage, sorry, four times the damage. Just remembered, as a prison tower is working, Red Alert. And I sell these trucks because they were using a power, I don't need them anymore. Alright, I don't think I was paying attention with this uh, field artillery vehicle. Oh, that's right, I put, yeah, put the Apollo fighter so I can do a bit of scouting. Because, you know, the... Yeah, because I need to be more, be more visibility on the area. Ah, Iron Curtain, is it? Well, unfortunately, Iron Curtain, you're going to get destroyed. Once we're playing in range. How's it cry? How does... How's it... How's it... How's it how about I, I give you a cold one? Okay, and they leave the Apollo fighter there because gonna happen. Oh, they're gonna go around, are they? Too bad for you. My field artillery vehicle will crush you. Oh, and that's around this point, my field artillery vehicle sneaks in from the back and I'm like, I'm completely unaware what's going on. And they're like, what? The unit's under attack? And they're like, what the hell? What's that doing all the way over here? And why don't walk back to destroyed? Seriously, MVP, these, these pacifiers. I'm like, what, you lost? No, oh, probably destroyed the uh, pacifier down there. Yeah, so I thought I could crash on the MC construction yard, but that didn't work. The construction yard was too far. It was too close. Minimum, minimum range and all that. And I got all this stuff still in the reserve, so I'm like, okay, I better actually build something now. I don't actually need those structures or power plants because the enemy's essentially done. So, I up the alert level. Sorry, Ninja Squirrel. Sounds hard to say. <laughs> I love this part. The artillery is just standing there while the end well, while the are throw Molotovs at it, while my other vehicles bombard them from a distance. <laughs> Creeping barrage or what? <laughs> and they haven't deployed their MCV yet. If they ran away, they probably would have gotten away, but they didn't. So they lost their production. Okay, to put the pacifier back. Around this point, it's like, oh, oh no, danger close. They're, they're producing infantry. Danger close. Danger close. Solution. Destroy their barracks. Again, for some reason the the um the construction was in range. Oh, danger close! Danger close! Alright, so I took all the production. Now it's a clean up. Clean up of aisle seven. Alright, or is it aisle twelve? One of those. One of those cleanups. I cleaned them up and I cleaned their clock. So I send the FAVs out there to go get them. I built some Athena cannons for last because they're pretty much worthless at this point. I unlocked the Athena cannon. I'm not going to use it. I'm not going to use the Athena cannon. Why should I? When I got these things, when I got these beasts, machine guns and machine guns and artillery shells, just like the siege tank in StarCraft 2. You know, why bother? Why bother with anything else? Get no other substitute. Alright, cry a shot, let's see what I can freeze. Do you know what killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age! <laughs> yeah, that actually. Cry a shot didn't actually do anything. The artillery did, however. And I was like, alright, Iron Curtain destroyed. Alright, where to go now? There's probably an ore refinery up there. I'd do the same thing. And I'm like, yeah, I'll lost my scout Apollos. Must have built a couple of them. Must have built, a, built four of them. I'm not going to be using them. There we go. Yeah. We'll wipe them out. Come on. Open fire. Open fire. Keep firing. Yeah! Victorious. So you won. What do you want? A medal? A medal would be nice, actually. Think you can get me one? Thanks. Right, let's see how I did. Let's see how I did. 
Uh, yeah. Yep. Didn't make my part time, of course, but I had a whole bunch of other things stashed. And I guess it's time to move on to the next level. Gosh darn Mongolians! Shall we begin with the Gosh darn Mongolians? You won't tear down my shitty wall! Yeah, that's a reference to South Park, okay? There's an episode of South Park where they had the, um... Where, you know, there were there were, the media was reporting that children were being kidnapped. So, the parents overreacted and they built and they... Asked, asked a Chinese guy who was I running the, um... coming for you, Commander. No walls can stand in the way of my King Onis. Yeah. They asked the, Ch the Chinese guy running the, um... Running, running City Walk to, um... Build a big wall, because, you know, he's Chinese, so he must know how to build a big wall to keep Mongolians out. So he, he actually started building the wall, building this huge wall, resembled the Great Wall of China, and then, you know, as he, as, once, he, once he finally finished building the wall, a bunch of guys on horses and big armor come in, and they start tearing it apart. And, you know, he yells them, call it, and yells, yells them, you know, gosh darn Mongolians! You don't tear down my shitty wall! And that's, that's essentially the origin of, of that meme. Anyway, in this level, it is time. As you can see, maybe you should call the, um, your mother and tell Commander her Comm Kenji has built a huge wall around my base to keep me out, and they think like, and, and he's paying for it. So he's not like Donald Trump at all. Uh, I've always got to make the reference every time I mention the walls. But yeah, as you can see, he's got the King Onis, and they appro they'll approach very, very slowly. They'll smash through a wall. He waits a bit. They'll smash through another wall. So at this point, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna build a Mecha Bay. Now, one thing I noticed is that the enemy built their Mecha Bay much closer to the front line than I thought. They built them at random, but that is way too close to the front line. That, that'll actually prove to be a bit costly later. Because I was not expecting that to happen. I was expecting to see. To expect what, what would come next to happen is that that Mecha Bay. Those Mecha Bays will build a lot of units, and they will prove to be a problem. But anyway, this one is typically VX Rush. So I got my Mecha Bay built, get the VXs, get the. um get the Mecha Bay building and I'm like, alright, I, I have money and time, I'll build a docks core. Okay, because I need, I need to get the docks built. This is part of my second part of the VX strategy. So I found two different ways to do, the, to do a VX rush, or two different methods. Okay, the VX is going to get torn apart by Jet Tengus. Alright, Jet Tengus are going to be a problem. As you can see, they're building Mecha Bays, they're going to upgrade to level 3. Then they're going to start rolling at Mecha Tengu. Those things can attack, can attack ground and air. And when in the air, they'll shoot my VX down as if they're like toys. So, well, what's one to do? And then to find some sort of anti-air. I could build Mecha Tengu in response, but they take forever to build and requires building a second Mecha Bay and all that. So at this point, I'm like, all right, VXs are good. <laughs> VXs? Okay, build 99 of them. And then I'm like, oh, what? They're attacking me already? I think the Tengus, oh no, 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 you can't do this to me! No, what are you doing? And they build their, and they're attacking that observation post. So, I sent out my first mech, I sent out my first VX, but I, ha I hit the one up there. Because I'm a bit worried about those aircraft. A bit worried about those enemy aircraft. Alright, the guitars are starting to rock out. I outgrow the docks as well, because they require level 2 for sea wings. The Tengus are starting to stop shooting at the ground. Go in the air for some reason, but I'll chase after my VXs. I send out more. I destroy that. Someone gets a promotion. So I carefully. So I'm hesitant to uh, hit these. Hit these um, Oni. But. It pays off. They're not attacking me, so. I'm gonna have these VXs kite them. From a distance. They're advanced rocket pods to so go Robotech on them. <laughs> yeah, Robotech. Yep, still, you know, go group them up, got to promote them, got to keep firing those rockets. Alright, once all the King Onis are destroyed, the, the um, enemy will send out their only prototype. This thing is a lot more dangerous. At this point, I'm like, alright, I can put another refinery, I really much like, he got their only prototype. The only prototype is actually not that tough, but it's got missile launchers so that can shoot at aircraft, but it's got very, very, very easily exploitable AI. It'll charge straight at your base. No, like, you know, I think I'm getting too close to the Tengus there. Don't want to provoke them. Yeah, so it'll charge straight at your base, but it will not stop to engage your aircraft. So get your Tengus out there as quickly as possible. Just keep firing. Now, if you actually destroy the um, you'll blow a path through the walls. If you destroy it before he blows up the last wall, 
The game will automatically destroy some walls so the enemy can get bring their troops through. Alright, so at this point I'm like, okay, yep. The uh, main threat is gone. Okay, nearly all gone. Nearly all gone. I might as well get some ground forces built <laughs> before I get my sea wings. Sign, is, sign those VX to group two. And go. Why it's taking my refinery so long to build? Come on, refinery, build faster. Build faster, refinery, come on. Forza. Forza. Right, and. Built very shortly, here we go. Deploy it. Nah. <laughs> right, at this point, I'm like, okay, I'm not waiting my, oh, my economy is. Gonna be top of my four refineries. Might as well ramp up the production. That's what I do, I ramp up the production. I'll listen to my favourite battle song. And I got a bit worried that maybe the uh, Oni might break through. No, plenty of time. Well, the enemy gets some base. I might as well set this up on the water. And what's the enemy gonna do? Here they come. Here they come once again. They're gonna do some damage. And then I realised the Tengu's actually. The Tengu's are only used as base defence, they don't actually do anything with them. They just have them there as base defence and go, yep. And then I upgrade the Fortified Fleet because Fortified Fleet will make your Sea Wings do more damage. Will make the Sea Wings cooler. Alright, they're all deployed. Now I get a bit, I bit, get a bit tempting and they're like, hmm, maybe I should have my Sea Wings over here. Let's see if we can shoot down some aircraft. No, nothing on Sona. Why do you want to have to do anything on Sona? Again, I like making that League of Legends joke, okay? Alright, they're sending out their aircraft in a certain way. They drop a Tengu in there and I'm like, hmm, it's not proved to be a problem. Gotta be careful. And then, he does a stupid thing. Yep, he doesn't deploy, doesn't go into air mode for some reason. Alright, and I think I get a bit overconfident here. I'm like, alright, got my, got my C-Wings, got my VXs, I've got plenty of VXs. It's time to engage. Get in the sky, you. Sign to engage, sign to engage that warfare, that mecha bay. Yeah, let's engage. Oh no, no, they're deploying aircraft. And uh, my sea wings take off. My sea wings surface, do some damage. Okay, here comes the king onis. Better go do something about those. All right, yeah, smash them. Of course, I smashed the um, I just smashed the radar tower. But that's all right. I didn't need it. I didn't need the radar tower. It didn't look right, right anyway. I'm like, where's my refinery? I need another refinery out here. Well, I'll get another. Oh, yep, check, check the time. Alright, and then. Alright, get the VX going. Okay, VXs. All systems green. This is where the uh, Tengu's point of aircraft. I'm like, oh crap, crap, crap. Uh, quick, to the ground, to the ground, to the ground, guys! You're gonna get shot down! No! No! Yeah, the Sea Wings are not destroying enough in time. They're all on the ground now, and then they all they all go to the air for some reason, rather than staying on the ground. So I find the ones that have that the cooldowns are ready, and prepare myself. All right, the king comes to King Oni. I'm like, oh no no no, King Oni, go away, King Oni. All right, keep firing, keep firing, keep firing, guys. Screw the King Oni. I hit the Mecha Bay, and as soon as I hit the Mecha Bay, I move those closer. And I think and then the um, enemy. Yeah, here, here comes the here comes the Tengu. Yeah. No, 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 go away, run away. The Tengu's gonna tear you apart. Ah. Yeah, the Tengu, the Tengu tears apart most of my choppers. And I don't know if I'm my group properly, so <laughs> yeah, there's a huge fuss of cluck. So yeah. All right, shoot him down, my choppers. Oh crap, yeah, I try, and then I try and get these guys around to, um... You try and get these guys over close and they realise they can't go under that bridge for some reason. Despite the fact they're submarines. So, yeah, I drop them onto the ground. I drop them onto the ground and they realise, oh no, the only might get over there. Also, that thing might get over there. You know what the solution is? Besides putting them back in the air. And getting them shot down by the Tengu. 
<laughs> Look at that, he's just... Alright, I'm in the air now. I'm going to shoot down your Tengu. I'm going to shoot down your VX. No. Denied. And at this point, I'm like, okay, I think I destroyed most of the defenses, the ground forces. Better get my Sea Wings out there and take care of this immediately. Oh, better also get, my v get some new VXs up there. But yes, my Sea Wings turned to Sky Wings. And now I have to deal with the um, enemy base thing. Yep, upgrade to Sleeper Ambush, because why not? <laughs> They get a Tengu in the air though. So I get my Sea Wings to the ground, to the surface again. Only three of them actually submerge. But that's enough to shoot it down. And then I shoot down the Mecha Bay, shoot down the construction yard. There's nothing they can. Once, once this is all done, I'm like, okay, yep, their base is utterly destroyed, their Oni is destroyed. Time to send everyone to Sea Wing mode, or Sky Wing mode, whatever. Get everyone flying. So that's what I do, I keep shooting at them, and shooting, and more shooting, destroy everything else, ignore the red alerts, so I was doing this level before on camera, I um, did it right the first time, did the VX rush, the second time though, I had to use the red alert because I lost a lot of my force, and I'm like, ah, getting bored, getting burned out here, bit of, bit of, just, hit, bit of just hit the alert button, and you know, did not settle right with me when I did that, hit the alert button. So now I'm doing this again, properly. But this time post commentary because honestly I can't really I don't think I can do all this. I need to concentrate. I need to concentrate on the um, game itself. And I win! The King Onis failed me! They should have destroyed you! No. They do a victory parade. <laughs> yeah. Victory parade! Yay! And then the music changes. And my power time is actually much less than before. 11 minutes. Wow. All right. And that's about it. I've been Stars RJ. I tip the scales in the favor of Future Tech. Signing off.